Hello, how's it going? Good, grand, great, fantastic. And this is a, a video, uh, it's a, a little bit um, out of field to what I usually do, because uh, it's a more personal video, not not too personal, not, oh, look at kill myself, none of that kind of stuff. What I mean is how I've kind of uh, kept my sanity online by unfollowing a bunch of negative mofos. Uh, basically is what I'm trying to say here. Um, so where do we start? Okay, we start. Let's start with say games and films and all that. So what is the most common thing that infests your Facebook, your Twitter feed, your your YouTube feed? It's people complaining about other people complaining about a film, or it's people complaining about a film. So basically, the anti-woke and the woke people have just basically infested everything, every corner, every aspect. 99% of them are Americans who are a unique breed of cancer to every kind of nerd culture, by the way. All right. They've just infested everything with so much negativity that it started to have a genuine effect on me and my enjoyment of things. I used to overthink simple things, but now I'm like, no, this is shit. I don't like it. I don't care that other people are saying I have to like it just because it's diverse or it has this or it has that or it's woke. Or that I have to hate this because it has a feminist agenda and all this. And it's like, no, what's going on here? What? You know, everything just became such a toxic breeding ground of people complaining. And the worst ones are the people that do constant videos about, like, these these game journalists who complain, who make up, by the way, make up outrage stories just so they can get traffic to their website. Because game journalism, ethically bankrupt, there are no good games journalists anymore. I think maybe one or two, like Jim Sterling, Jason Schreier, Belly Law News, uh, Legacy Killer, you know, those kinds. The, the more ob objective slash opinionated but fair type. The ones that actually class themselves as proper games journalists are not games journalists. They are just paid outrage marketers. That's all they are. And the worst is people like genuinely good channels like Upper Echelon just became nothing but an old man yells at clouds kind of channel where he's always like, oh, my God, this journalist is outraged because someone's white in a game or someone's not a woman in a game or all this. And it's like, who cares? Look at the gaming industry. Look at gamers. 90 fucking God knows how many percent of gamers really don't care we are in a very unique bubble of caring too much about the goings on in our industry and i care a lot about you know the, the financial stuff and ethics and all of this but i don't give a shit about the woke stuff i don't care like if you're complaining that a woman's armor is too skimpy and her tits are too big tough shit don't play the fucking game all right or if you don't if you're outraged that the protagonist is female don't fucking play the game my God, if Tomb Raider came out today, you lot would fucking, your heads would explode. <sighs> anyway, so it's just become this world of, like, outrage marketing, and everyone was just complaining of this, and, like, the, the latest silliness I saw a friend talk about, which I had no idea, I was blissfully unaware, all right, for ages, was about, like, Baby Yoda eating some eggs in Mandalorian. It was outrage. No, there wasn't. There was no outrage. Outside of the bubble... Nobody fucking knows. Nobody knows. And that's the point of my video is I unfollowed all these things. I, I unsubscribed from all these negative people who have absolutely destroyed nerd culture. OK, especially the Americans have absolutely destroyed nerd culture. And you know what? I'm starting to really enjoy all my stuff again or I'm starting to really hate things the way I should hate things. Again, I feel so much better within myself. I know you should always have your own opinion, but sometimes in the back of the head, you're like, well, if I say something this, if I don't say something that, then now I'm just in a place where, you know what? I don't follow anyone. I don't give a fuck about anyone else's opinions. I'm just here in my own. I make up my own fucking mind and just enjoy things the way I'm meant to enjoy things. 
And if you're going to complain about somebody else complaining about something, you know what? Don't complain to me because I really, I don't care. I don't care if you're anti-woke. I don't care if you're pro-woke. I, I just, I don't care. Okay. <clears throat> and I honestly urge people to do this for your own enjoyment of your own kind of uh, culture uh, within whatever it is. There's toxic motherfuckers in everything. Football, uh, golf, uh, model making, blah, blah, blah. All right. Well, just unsubscribe from negative people. Even if they're on this politically same spectrum as you. Okay. Just unsubscribe from them. Just enjoy things how you want to enjoy it. <clears throat> and other people's and your own opinion be damned. You know. That's it. That's all I, I, I've got to say. I I really, I I looked at it because I just unfollowed another page the other day. And I'm like, I've unsubscribed and unfollowed, I think, close to about 50-odd pages, uh, uh, Twitter users, channels, and 50-plus. That's how bad things have gotten. And I'm all the better for it. And I couldn't recommend it enough to you.